Well, hello there, friends. Fantastic recipe today. One of my favorite potato of all time. Fondant of potato, stuffed with cheese. Remember, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up if you like the video, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, we're gonna make them right now. Well, let me show you how easy they are, and they're beautiful. And you know the good thing about those? You can make them in advance. So if you have a dinner party, make them the day before. Don't worry about it, they're gonna look beautiful. Make extra because they're good all week. <laughs> I used to like them when they were in the fridge, cold, eat the whole thing, delicious. Cold, hot, I don't care what they are, they're delicious. Okay, real quick, my friends, let me show you. Um, I use Yukon gold potato, use whatever kind of potato you want. The idea is to get them like this, you see? Get them like this, right? So you cut them, we're gonna make a hole in there, and then the inside, we're gonna put some cheese. <laughs> These are good, let me tell you guys, I love those potatoes. I could eat three of them, easy. So <laughs> let me show you. First thing we're gonna do, uh, folks, we're gonna cut the ends, all right? We're gonna cut the ends and make sure they are parallel to each other. Parallel, okay? That means they're straight, right? And then what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut them so they look nice, okay? And uh, so we go like this and we're gonna give it a side. Uh, nothing really fancy, just try it when you cut them to make the same size um, edge, if you will. You see, look. And if you have to cut a little bit extra, eh, cut a little bit extra, it's okay. You know, this is, um, we wanna make them look nice. You can put them with a fancy dinner, or, you know, look, no big deal, right? Just so far, so good. If you don't have enough of a surface, let's say you don't have enough of a surface, you can cut a little bit off and then boom, you see? Now, if it's not straight enough for you, you can straighten it. Oh yeah, you can play with it a little bit. Have fun with it. It's not that big of a deal, and now how do we get the hole in there? We take a melon ball cutter, my friends. Melon ball cutters, those have a really simple look. You go in there like this, and you go deep, 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 and you go in there like this, right? Easy, you can take this and saute them, they're cool. Uh, they're really cool. And then you go inside and make a little bit bigger hole, but be careful with the edges, friends. You don't wanna hurt the edges, right? The edge is good, right? So, right, boom. Very simple, right? Now, let's say you got big potatoes. Cut them in half. Right? And you can still do the same deal, but then, I'll show you. If you cut them in half, then you gotta play with it and do the same deal. You see, look. See? Same deal. Now, they're not gonna be quite as pretty when you get them from a half than they are when you get them from, um, from around potatoes. But you see, look. Okay, they're not exactly as pretty, but Look, we still, oh, look at it, mamma mia, this one is, here you go. Okay, so now look, we take it and make a hole and bam, we got the same deal. All right, so now, if you make them in advance, those guys right there, let me just put this aside because I don't need any more than what I got. Let me just remove all the stuff I got here, my friends. All right, I got an oil, I have my olive oil right there, and I want my oil to be at 365 degrees. I want it to be hot, right? I'm almost there. So, if you make them in advance, you wanna put them, you wanna dry them really, really good. Dry them really good with pepper towels. Put them in water, get rid of the extra starch, clean them up. Keep them in water. If you do them, keep them in water, okay? If you do them, in advance, that is, right? And then you're gonna put a little salt and pepper on them. Nothing special. Make sure they're super dry. Salt and pepper. Right, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get them beautiful golden brown with some, um, uh, 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 I use um, uh, garlic olive oil, but use whatever olive oil you want, right? Put them up in the oil, make sure it's hot. If it's not hot, then uh, wait a second. Oh, it's good, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I just wanna give them some little colors, that's all I want, give them a little color. And then we're gonna put them in the oven and we're gonna cook them, remember they roll, right? Let me tell you something, this, we used to do them at the restaurant. See if I can clean up, because I hate to work in a dirty kitchen. Uh, <laughs> there you go, extra salt and pepper. Uh, <laughs> those, I, let me tell you, at the restaurant, they were big success, friends, big, big success. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put them in a, um, let me put this right here, with a little bit of chicken stock. Just a little chicken stock so I don't make a mess, right? We may put a little bit more later, Maybe just put a little bit more right now, right? Little chicken stock, 
Remember my chicken stock, let me take it out of the way so the camera are not, uh, how are we doing here? I'm not putting this in the middle, am I? No, that's good. <laughs> Little salt and pepper in our chicken stock. Then we're gonna flavor our chicken stock, friends, with some fresh thyme and some garlic. And don't be afraid to put a lot of garlic. It's gonna, it's gonna give a little bit of flavor. It looks like a lot of garlic, but don't worry. It doesn't give that much flavor. It takes a while, okay? Then what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna flip them, we're gonna keep an eye on them. We don't want them to be too golden brown. See, this guy right there is nice. And don't worry about the side of it. The side of it will get their color when they are in the oven. And even if they don't get too much color, hey, you come back over here, you see? A little bit more, a little bit more. See, they're getting there, friends. We want them to have some nice color. Now you see why it's very important to make sure then they are um, parallel. This is my geography class. Parallel. <laughs> I used to get confused. Parallel, horizontal in English. I got it so confused for so long. I would tell people things are parallel when they were horizontal. I tell them they were horizontal when they were parallel. And uh, I, they got all confused. <laughs> Actually, let me tell you. You should have heard me when I bought my restaurant in 1976. July 26, 1976, i never forget, that's when I bought my first restaurant. I was 24 years old, and I, oh, mama mia, look at it, me, I'm talking, 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 you see? You, come back over here, see? Okay, that's okay, it's a little uh, suntan, a <laughs> little bit of suntan here, you see? That's okay. Um, and I bought the restaurant, and my English was very bad, very bad, very bad. <laughs> and I bought a restaurant... And it was a lovely, lovely, lovely restaurant. It was called Zenny's years ago. And I turned it into a French restaurant. But when I bought it, it was a fondue restaurant. They specialized in fondue. And the staff was as lovely as they were. Uh, and um, they, didn't, they didn't understand anything I said to them. <laughs> it was difficult to run a kitchen when, the, when nobody understood what you were talking about. <laughs> Let me tell you. There we go, friends. That's it. So I am much better today with my, <laughs> my English. Much, much better. Here we go. That's it. Okay, so you see? A little squeezed here, but that's okay. I don't care. I don't care. We are among friends. All right, so now look. This guy is ready to go, right? A little more fresh thyme. I'm going to put them in a 325-degree, 350-degree oven, just like this. That's all I'm going to do, okay? They're going to go in the oven now. The oven is hot. No more than three, just do 300. Just do 300, then you don't have to worry about it. How long do you cook them for? You cook them until they are soft with a, with a uh, fork tender, fork tender, right? Then I'm gonna make a little mixture with cheese. Now, you don't have to be using all those cheese, okay? Brie, I removed the rhyme out of the brie. Uh, Go cheese. I, I love, uh, no, this is not goat cheese. This is, um, um, yeah, this is goat cheese. I have two goat cheese, I don't need two goat cheese. Little, <laughs> Little cream cheese or, um, or uh, mascarpone cheese, that'd be great, right? Little garlic, little garlic, and a little bit of chopped parsley. Oh, little chopped parsley, not, not much. And then what we're gonna do, make sure those cheeses, friends, are well mixed together. We're gonna put some fresh black pepper, cracked black pepper, we're gonna put a little salt, okay? And then we're gonna make this mixture right there, friends. The brie is gonna be so important. Take your time to mix this. Take your time to mix it. I'm gonna take a little more time to do it off camera. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put them in a pastry bag. And when they're out of the oven, we're gonna do one more thing to them. We're gonna put the cheese in it, and we're gonna put them back in the oven for a few minutes. So, cool thing to do. You can make them way, way in advance when they are and when you serve dinner, all you gotta do is pop them in the oven just for a few minutes to reheat them. They are amazing. I promise you, you're gonna love them. So we're gonna wait until they come out of the oven and then I'll show you how I stuff them, all right? So we're gonna wait. It's probably gonna take about 45 minutes. I'm not sure exactly how long. We're gonna time it right now because I never timed it when I made them in a little pot like this. So we're gonna find out and I'll tell you exactly how long it took to make uh, everything. I made it about eight of them, all right? So we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, I took them out a few minutes ago you gotta let them cool just a little bit so you need to handle them. 
because you see, you see some of the stocks is in there right there, or you don't water sometimes. You want to take them, be carefully, carefully, and you flip them. You see? You just flip them like that, all right? So here's what I'm going to do, friends. I'm going to do that to all of them, and I'm going to let them rest until, because they're still quite hot. I'm going to let them get a, a cool a little bit, like maybe a half hour, and this process you'll have to do, but it's okay, because you can make them all ahead. This is not a potato. The kids are hungry. Oh, let's make some stuffed potatoes. <laughs> it's something you make in advance for a fun dinner or a very special dinner party, all right? So I'm going to do all this, and when we come back, I'll show you how I put the cheese in there, okay? Okay, friends. Well, they rested a little bit long enough anyway uh, for me to be able to handle them. You know, there's no more water inside. Um, and you want to keep some of that chicken stock. I washed the dish because I'm too anal. So I, <laughs> I had to wash the dish. It's driving me nuts. All them. Anyway. I got it cleaned up, and then I saved some of that beautiful broth in there because you want to keep a little moisture underneath, right? Now, the cheese, friends, I put it in a, in a pastry bag. I got those uh, disposable pastry bag. If you don't have one of those, you can, uh, you can use um, a very small ice cream scoop if you have it. Uh, if not, you're going to have to do it with a spoon or, or get one of them baggies and, and put the cheese in a, in a corner of it. And then you just, you see, you can just do it like this. It's, e it's easier. When you see me do it with a pastry bag, you're going to go, ah, it's pretty easy to do it this way, right? And you just go right there. I just want to make sure that I'm not in the middle of the camera. But look, see right there? And you put it in there. Now, don't be afraid, friends. You want to put a lot of cheese. So you put your pastry back in the bottom until it starts puffing up, you see? You want the potatoes to be full, full, full. Now, it, it all depends, of course, how much cheese you like in your potatoes. Now, if you like a lot of cheese, you want to you wanna really be healthy with this. If you like a lot of cheese, friends, and you want you to make a bigger hole, but be careful, be careful, friends, because if you put too much, um, if you put uh, too big of a hole, the potatoes are going to be very fragile because, you know, they're cooked, right? That's the whole idea, right? So then what we're going to do, we're going to bake them, and, uh, and, and then when it's cold and brown, we're ready to eat them. So then a party, you got them all ready like that, and uh, you're putting your steak, you're putting your whatever it is, they're going to require, depends, like those right now are still hot, so they're not going to take that long at all to, uh, uh, to get ready to be served. Uh, but if you take them out of the fridge, you want to put them in a warm oven, like 250, 275, until they're golden brown. And they, they, until the cheese is nice and hot, then you, you taste it inside, and they're ready. All right, we're going to go in the oven now. All right, let's go. Let's put them in. And voila, we'll be back when they're ready. Okay, friends. Now they are ready. <laughs> Now, all I'm going to do is, uh, is put a chop, a little ch chopped parsley to make them nice and um, give them a brightness. A brightness? A little freshness, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, and voila, right? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit right there. This guy didn't get any, right? right? Okay, so now, um, now they're ready to eat. Uh, by the way, I just want to let you know, <laughs> the cheese left over, I added on the crackers. For, for lunch today, I had cheese and crackers. Yeah, cheese and crackers. It's delicious. I'm not going to have one, otherwise I can't speak. But it's delicious. So, yeah, you make some extra rice like cheese, let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to take one out of it, so I want to show you the inside, friends. But it, they're going to be a little hot. So be careful. Be careful, be careful. You know, you see, you, you really got to keep the bottom of this uh, thing moist. Uh, it's nice, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you break them... And you'll see that it stays. So you see the cheese, the, the cheese um, uh, came up a little bit. You want to make sure you fill them up all the way. Okay, now, you can also put a bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, but you have to be careful because the Parmigiano Reggiano is going to, um, uh, to brown really, really, really fast. So you see the cheese is melting. It's coming out, but you're not supposed to eat them like that. You're supposed to just cut them and just eat yeah. mm. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Gotta wait until this is not so hot. Mm. Fantastic for a dinner party. I hope you make them, my friend. I really enjoy making them for you. Remember, 
Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Stay tuned, we got more recipe coming up. Thanks for watching.